In an upcoming project I'm using an 80 tiny 85 which will save quite a bit of space when compared to something like an Arduino Uno. But there was just one problem. No matter what I tried, the included USB programmer wasn't being recognized by IDE, and thus the upload would time out. So in this video, I'll show you how I solved this problem. This video is proudly sponsored by JLC PCB, who offer high quality PCBs at very affordable prices. They offer fast production time as quick as 24 hours from ordering to your order being shipped worldwide and ordering is as simple as uploading your Gerber file and choosing your design preferences. Order 5 PCBs from as little as $2. First off, all the files I'll be using in this video can be downloaded from a link in the video's description. After extracting the zip file you'll find all the information, drivers and files in order to flash a bootloader onto the ATtiny. My issue was the fact the programmer wasn't being recognized by IDE. However, this wasn't caused by the programmer itself, but rather by the fact the ATtiny I had did not come preloaded with a bootloader installed. And unfortunately, I was unable to find a method of installing this bootloader using the programmer I had at hand. So the walkaround for this problem was to use an Arduino Uno to flash the bootloader onto the ATtiny. First, download and install Arduino IDE if you don't have it already. Next, you should install the included Digistump drivers, and at the end of installation, make sure all the drivers were successfully installed. Next, download and install the Digistump library. To do this, start IDE, then select Preferences under the File tab in the top left corner. Then, under Additional Boards Manager URL, add this line. Press OK to close the Preferences window. Now click on the Tools tab and mouse over Board, then select Boards Manager. Type Digi in the search box and look for Digistump AVR Boards by Digistump and install it. Now we need to program the UNO with the default Arduino ISP sketch. To do this, click on the File tab and from the Examples menu under the heading Built-in Examples, select the Arduino ISP sketch. First, plug in your UNO, then from the Board drop-down menu, select UNO as the board. And don't forget to select the COM port the UNO is connected to. Then hit Upload. After compiling, the sketch should upload and the LEDs should blink a few times on the UNO. The UNO is now configured and ready to program the ATtiny for us. Next we need to connect our ATtiny to the UNO using this wiring configuration. This can be as simple as using jumper wires, or you could build your own prototype shield like I have here. But since I plan on using ATtiny's in many future projects, I went all out and built a custom programming shield which if you're interested in building one for yourself, you can find a link to download the Gerber files to order your own PCBs in the video's description. Next, plug in your UNO ISP programmer with an ATtiny connected to it via USB and open up IDE. We need to find out what COM port the UNO is connected to, and in my case this was COM port 4. Next, open burn 8085 bootloader.bat with an editor such as Notepad. And we need to look for this line which is PCOM XX. Next, we need to replace the XX with whatever COM port number your UNO is connected to. So, in my example, it should look like this. Save your changes before exiting. Now move the edited burn 8085 bootloader.bat and at85bootloader.hex files into the Arduino IDE root folder. Right click on burn at85bootloader.bat and select run as admin. Sit back and relax for 5 seconds while it flashes the bootloader to the ATtiny. If all went well you should receive this message. You can now remove the ATtiny from the UNO. With the bootloader installed onto the ATtiny, the USB programmer should now work with IDE. And to demonstrate this, I'll use the DigiSpark example sketch named Start, 
which is a simple LED blink sketch for the AT Tiny. I'll select the correct board option, which in my case is DigiSpark default 16.5 MHz, and then hit upload. And when prompted, I'll plug in the USB programmer. After only a couple of seconds, the sketch should successfully be uploaded, and the LED should start blinking. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for more future videos. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next video.